Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and for the past several years, you guys have been saying to me, Joey, what are they doing with the Four Corners, the abandoned Four Corners in North Wildwood? And well, today we finally have an answer for you. Standing behind me is the old Texaco station. This obviously was torn down a long time ago. And for those who remember the Triangle Restaurant, they used to sit literally on the other side, right where New York Avenue kind of starts. Well. We do know what's finally coming here, and it's in the form of two different things. One is going to be the North Wildwood Gold Star Families Memorial, and the other is going to be a massive park. Let's go ahead and break down everything we know before we get started. Make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up, and a special thank you out to my Patreons on Patreon.com. It's because of them I get to do fun videos like this. Let's get started. <laughs> So for those who don't know, you may be entering North Wildwood here on Spruce Avenue. Then you may be passing by what looks to be the Welcome to North Wildwood sign. Well, for those who don't know, right behind it is actually a Veterans Memorial sitting right behind here. And you can see the city does a lot of work to keep this place beautiful. Look at the shrubs. They cut everything down and shape it. They put flowers everywhere. Well, this is about to get even better because just proposed a few months ago is going to be a massive renovation of this entire space including the Texaco gas station and the little square where the Triangle restaurant used to be. It's going to be a mix of brand new parks with trees. It's going to have a new memorial. It's going to have a massive park on that side with a little activity center in the middle and then a massive 40 foot tower which is going to sit right where the triangle restaurant used to be and it's going to be more of a welcome and a memorial at the same time the city is not only just going to build this park they're also going to improve the entire area around it they're going to add in brand new lights on this road because a lot of you guys said that it's kind of dark at night they're going to plant trees on both sides of the roads on this side of spruce on this side on that side and then they're going to add in a new parking lot which is going to take place right on this side. Now I have the blueprints with me, so let's go ahead and walk what this whole area is going to look like. This is the blueprints looking straight down and you can see Spruce Avenue running through the middle. If you look in the left hand corner all the way up where the triangle was, that is where the 40 foot tower is going to stand. This is what that's going to look like. As we continue north through Anglesey Drive, you can see where the Texaco station is. There's trees, shrubbery, and a couple other things taking that spot. Moving towards the right, you can see the first monument. This is for the Gold Star families. It will separate the next monument with a little activity area that's not mentioned what it's going to be. And then we have the massive VFW Memorial Wall. So over here, we're going to see a few different things. One is going to be a brand new parking area which actually, believe it or not, you can kind of see the original curb that used to be here and cut over. This is going to get carved out and become parking. Then right over here is going to be the first memorial. This is going to be the VFW Memorial, something that is going to take the place of that one down there because where that's currently at, that's going to be the Gold Star Memorial Zone. So imagine memorial here, parking over there. Then they're going to be doing this beautiful concrete work mixed in with all this shrubbery and plants down the entire way to the next memorial. According to the blueprints, right here is going to be a little activity zone. It doesn't mention what exactly is going to be there, but according to this, there's going to be different things inside of here from a kiosk to a bike rack, a fillet station, a water station, and a couple other things. I'm assuming part of that's going to be here and the other part is going to be on the other side of the park. Keep in mind that you have this entire parking lot back here that's going to be a part of the shrubberies. It's going to have street lamps, going to have beautiful concrete work and benches. Now, this is the Gold Star Families Memorial. This is going to take the place of right here in the middle where the VFW original one is. So that one's getting moved down and this one's going to be beautiful right here in the middle, curving over into the park that's going to sit over here. And this is a lot of space for a park. And according to the blueprints, right here is where that 40-foot tower is going to stand. It's going to be a memorial, it's going to be a sculpture, and there's going to be a water feature. It doesn't mention exactly what the water feature is going to be, but it says that it's going to be in the area right over here. Now, this one, you can't park in. You're going to have to park in that lot right over where we mentioned earlier. 
and then walk across right where this light is. Now, according to all of the blueprints that we have and the meeting notes, they actually need to study all of the traffic flow here because obviously if it's going to be a park, they have to make sure that it's safe for everyone. And you're probably saying to yourself, Joey, when is this project going to start? Fall of 2023, that's what we're looking at right now because you gotta get a lot of permissions, you gotta get a CAFR because we're right here by the beach and then they have to study all of the traffic. Now I do have the drone with me and so I wanna go ahead and take some free videos and photos. That way you can see what it looks like now and then we'll come back when they're finally under construction and give you a final view. So let's get the drone in the sky. So there you guys go. Get ready for the fall 2023 for groundbreaking here. This is going to be absolutely amazing come 2023. Well, technically it'll be what, early 2024. But I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And I just have to say one thing about this park. You know, this is going to be such an amazing thing dedicated to our veterans here. And I'm so happy that the city is doing something like that. Obviously, they've had one here before, but just revamping it for the fallen families here, specifically in the Wildwoods, is going to be absolutely amazing. I want to thank you for joining me. As always, I'll see you on the beach, which is right behind us. See you later. Bye.